Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the UWC Professional Welterweight Division. So let me introduce your fighter in the red corner. He weighed in at 77.5 kilograms. He is making his professional debut and fights at a rough and ready gym in Northampton. Please welcome Matt Wilkins. Now let us welcome his opponent in the blue corner. He weighed in at 77.2 kilograms. Also making his professional debut and fighting at a TSG fight school from South End on Sea. One more time for John Rustin. A little fact here, John Rustin uh, from TSG um, also has been affiliated with this promotion in that he uh, has refed some of these fights, so he's going to be very, very knowledgeable about the rules. He's certainly going to be very comfortable in this environment as well. Right. And uh, Rustin in the black and gold trim sprawl with Matt Wilkins out of Rough and Ready Northampton in the shoot box gym shorts. <laughs> And fight commencing. Jab by Matt Wilkins. Backpedaling, throwing shots. Now the thing, when you backpedal and you throw shots, immediately goes for the, the takedown, which is reversed by Wilkins. Excellent. Excuse me, by Rustin. Excellent use of the underhook there. Now Rustin coming for the TSG gym is going to be well versed in the stand up as well as the ground game. I'm looking. Now he's got the hand position for a possible guillotine choke. And somebody's bleeding. It looks like maybe Rustin has a small cut to the forehead. He's positioning up for the guillotine choke there. Uh, Rustin has got it in pretty tight, but it, Wilkins still has the, the arm up and under. So it's going to be hard unless you get the correct position. That's it. He's doing the right thing there, giving it up and working for a takedown of his own, which he scores. Now, Rustin is like a little terrier in there. He just doesn't give up any position. Both guys came out guns blazing uh, with Rustin coming forward. Wilkinson doing the backpedaling. However, he was throwing more shots. And landing some of them as well, as is evidenced by the cuts on uh, John Rustin. However, Rushton. Rustin has ended up with the top position after the takedown, so he scored points there also. I say we can hear the crowd here again, Pierre. These local fighters from Team Showgrip really oh, yeah. getting the support of the whole center behind them. And, and you would expect that, you know. If you train hard, come out to put on a good show. Friends, family out here to support you. On bar attempt. By Wilkins wasn't able to finish it. Rustin again in the open guard of Wilkins. Again, Wilkins is in the shoe box shorts with Rustin in the black and gold sprawl shorts. You know, Wilkins working well here from the bottom, uh, getting his hips out, and they're going to check the cut on the forehead of John Rushton. Now, here's the thing. If the fight is stopped due to a cut, that is just a shame because this had the uh, beginnings of a real firecracker of a, a fight. Uh, exactly, and Matt Wilkins actually uh, looking a little worse for wear on the ground here. Now, Wilkins being questioned by the referee whether or not he's able to continue. Rustin going back over to his corner. Uh, I don't know why uh, he's getting perhaps, been given. Perhaps a waiting time for an illegal blow, quite possibly. Okay, I did, did you catch that? I didn't I, see I that. I personally didn't see one, but uh, on, given from the reaction of the referee, there's certainly been either an accidental eye poke or a possible accidental illegal blow uh, to, uh, to Matt Wilkins here, and he's been given time by the referee to recover. Now, we, Wilkins is breathing heavily over there. Well, like you said before, uh, John Rushton pushing uh, quite a pace, not letting up, and uh, you know, going for submission, giving it up, going for a takedown of his own, uh, keeping a lot of pressure on the top there, even from guard. Uh, so he clearly he's setting quite a pace to this fight, and like we said, spurred on by the crowd. Uh, you know, let's see if he can keep it up. Touch of gloves again. Now John Rushton is being, he's ready for it. Good overhand strike. Again, Wilkins ducks underneath the strike immediately for the takedown. He needs to pull his, he needs to trap the legs, make the connection good. Wilkins with top position in Rustin's guard. 
Russin has the over uh, overhook on the uh, left arm of Wilkins. So here we are, positions reversed from where we were uh, just about 30 seconds ago. Let's see if uh, Matt Wilkins can uh, do something from top position here. Russ is still active from the bottom, still scoring points. But he seems quite content to tie up and look, look for a stand-up, possibly. Wilkins needs to break free of the arms, circle in, pull his arms back, posture up. Um, there's plenty of things that he can do from the posture up. He can throw strikes, he can sit back for a leg lock, he can look to pass. But he's not going to do anything uh, other than strikes while he's in the guard of uh, John Rustin. Elbows for Wilkins. John Rustin again just content to tie him up, hold him close, try and limit the amount of strikes coming his way and uh, you know perhaps look for a stand up. He's keeping that guard closed tight. Uh, you know, he needs to open that guard if he wants to work for any submissions or any sweeps. Uh, it seems at this point he's happy to try and work for a stand-up. Wilkins is going to have to stay active. If not, then of course he's going to have to, uh, the ref will stand it back up. But then he has to do all that hard work to get him back down again. And as we've seen previously, that's where he wants the ground, the game to be, is on the ground. Now he can also switch it up. Punches body, body, head, just making himself more unpredictable to where he can land. Even if he's not doing a knockout shot, he's still scoring points and he's still being active, keeping the game on the ground. That's but he, has, he needs to keep a work rate up here, otherwise, uh, you know, the referee is going to be looking at passivity and, and possibly a bit of a stalemate and, and look to stand them back up. In fact, he's warning them for that now. Now the crowd is uh, vocally showing their displeasure of. Uh, of action. Well, of course, it's their fighter on the bottom, so they're, uh, they're going to do their best to help the ref uh, make, a, make a decision to stand them back up. Now, ref is called for the stand-up. End, uh, end of the round. End of the round. 